Welcome Leos. I'm back guys with another video for y'all. All right, so I know it's been a while. Um so I just want to let you guys in um on what I have going on and why I've been kind of MIA for a few weeks, okay? So I've been working on some items to put on my Etsy shop. So I did start an Etsy shop, guys. The first item that is up is the money magnet oil, guys. This is my personal one, okay? Um, <laughs> this oil, guys, I have been attracting so many good things into my life, guys. Just by simply utilizing this oil on a frequent day-to-day -day basis, guys. I've come encounter with so many opportunities. Um, my friends, I have manifested cars businesses guys and i want to share this with with you all okay so this is the money magnet oil guys all right you see that that jezebel in there yeah mm -hmm. this oil guys <laughs> is the truth guys it's the truth it's most definitely the truth like i love this oil i dearly dearly do so if you want to check out um, the oil, guys, that information is going to be in the drop box below. And it smells like money. <laughs> it smells like money. Money, money, money. It smells like luck, abundance. You can just feel it. I just love this. I just, I love this oil. I'm in love with this oil. Like, I just made a new batch. Full moon and Pisces energy. <laughs> just made a new batch. Um, and... <laughs> when I say this oil is everything, everything. So check the description box. Um, it'll send you to my Etsy shop to where you can shop that. Currently, I'm running a free shipping for U.S. orders for the Money Magnet oil. So if you would like to purchase, the information is in the drop box below. Um, if you want to book your own personal reading, that information is there as well if you are new to the channel welcome 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 we would love to have you here go ahead and click the bell to catch the, the notification so you won't miss out on any future videos okay now for some reason i'm sitting here drinking a coca-cola all right so if you hear me stop and kind of go off a little bit i'm drinking this but i just got really really thirsty all of a sudden Mm. I just got a feeling that Leo's energy is going to be <laughs> I just got a feeling like you guys' readings lately have been a little wild <laughs> it's been a little wild so I'm hoping that you guys get a good reading okay and I know guys my setup is a little bit different um, so just you know just keep up with me alright so let's see what we got here for Leo's. Let me shuffle really quick. Oh, that shuffle was ugly. Okay, so let me get it together. Leo, 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 Leo. And I've been shuffling off camera as well too. Leo's energy for September Sun, Moon, and Rising Venus Leo, what messages do you have for my Leos? What messages are there for Leos? For the month of September When I did the pre-shuffle guys I did see the Four of Wands jumped out So some of you could be in a group setting Or a community Or a family unit 10 10 guys 10 10 p.m right now showing up on the clock right now so some of you guys may have been seeing the number 10 10 okay so 10 10 could the number 10 could be um yeah look at you guys' energy king of wands leo sagittarius aries okay some maybe some of you guys can't make up your mind or not sure if you should respond to something i'm seeing that as well too Give me um, a read for Leo's energy for September. Give me an overall message, please. All right, so we got Knight of Pentacles and a Six of Cups and an Ace of Cups and the Lovers. Okay. 
So there could be a Virgo towards Capricorn, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Gemini energy here as well. But somebody you could have been like dragging their feet, taking their time, someone from your past. Um, with the Ace of Cups and the Lovers, you really had a bond, a connection with this person. Okay. Um, so let's see what we got going on. All right. So we have the Seven of Cups. All right. Seven of Cups. And we also have the Four of Wands. See, it came back out again. So I'm getting like a lot of people, a lot of different people, okay? There could be confusion um, in regards to family or something to that nature, but I'm getting like a lot of, a big group of people. And then we got the star. Okay, so are you hoping that someone makes up their mind? I'm hearing that as well. You're hoping someone makes up their mind or you are in a group setting and you feel like you're the star, okay? I also got the Queen of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio's energy. Past energy, we got the Six of Wands. Yeah, I'm getting like celebrity energy. Like, do you guys feel like you're a celebrity? Or I'm not sure if I'm picking up on a celebrity's energy. Um, but I'm getting like the star and the six of wands. This is someone who is definitely on, uh, is definitely on the star status level. And I'm getting like a group of people, a group of, in the, a group of people. Um, and someone is a star. Okay. Future energy. We got the higher fit. You could be dealing with a Taurus. And the page of pentacles. Okay, so, yeah, the Two of Swords and the Page of Pentacles came back out again. Um, I'm getting like a decision needs to be made as well, too. I got the Two of Cups for your hopes and your fears. And as the outcome, we got you guys' energy, the Strength card, coming out strong. All right, so let's see what we got. Let's see what we got here. I'm going to stand up and do this for you. Let's see what we got here. Okay, so. So, it looks like I'm getting that there's a group of people I'm getting like a group of people coming together. Why is the seven of cups here? Oh, the devil and the eight of swords. Okay, what is this? He's afraid to get too attached. Is what I'm seeing here. We got the moon and the justice card and the emperor. Why is the four of wands here? Eight of wands. Someone's family. Um, maybe you're talking or in communication with someone's family. And you're afraid to get attached or you're afraid to get too close to this person's family. Why is the star card here? Yeah, the knight of pentacles, Capricorn energy. To, like you're hoping that this person is okay. But you're, I feel like I'm getting that um for some of you you're afraid to get too attached some of you are possibly even trying to keep your options open um someone's family could be involved as well or like a group setting where people are talking amongst each other like it's a group of people that are talking and you may be like afraid to get close You're afraid to get close to this person, person's family, or why is the Queen of Cups here? I'm getting Pisces' this energy. Queen of Cups and the Moon is definitely Pisces. Someone got exposed here with the Ace of Swords. The Ten of Pentacles, someone here is asking for money with the Knight of Cups or accepting money. 
somebody here is definitely upset about that. Somebody's not happy. You're not happy about somebody's decision. I got the five of wands. There may be like a competition. Somebody loves to compete. Um, but I'm getting like somebody got exposed here with the moon and the ace of swords, possibly by someone's family or someone was offering or asking for money. Okay, why is the moon here? The judgment card. And the magician. Yeah, like some somebody made a final decision here. A final decision was made or is getting ready to be made. And there's something about a group setting. Someone's afraid to... Uh, why is the Eight of Swords here? The Nine of Pentacles. There could be money involved. Um, I'm getting like somebody's afraid to get cut off or talked about. I'm getting like somebody's afraid they're going to get talked about with the King of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy. But somebody's like, there's like a something that's being won or celebrated. Yeah, somebody wants, you guys want a title, Nine of Cups and the Six of Wands. You want a title to something. You want to reign. You want, you want to be like, uh, recognized for something okay you want to be recognized because i got the nine of cups and the six of wands okay and you want to come out on top and you want to be the best at something okay so let's look at the future energy so i'm getting like let the people make the decision i'm getting that like because i'm getting that there's like a group setting okay yeah the hierophant and the chariot Okay, so could be dealing with the cancer as well. Okay. Yeah, stop talking. I'm I'm hearing like come on, stop talking. Cause I got the hierophant and the chariot. Now the hierophant is doing things by the book. This is things being in a structured order. So it looks like there's some type of come together and it's being done in a structured order. And then it's somebody's like, you know what? Um, come on, these are the rules. Stop all the talking. Ten of swords. I have the ten of swords here. The three of pentacles. There's a... Um, and possibly involving three people. Or there is like... Um, yeah, there's a building or a business. With the three of pentacles and a ten of pentacles, that's definitely like a business or a family business something's in that nature but something here is involving money and there's a final decision that needs to be made and you guys are trying to win some type of competition or win some type of battle i'm definitely seeing that why is the page of pentacles here the ace of cups the ace of cups why is the ace of cups here the page of swords so you're watching someone here you're keeping your eye you're listening to what someone has to say I'm getting two females could be involved, two of pentacles and the empress. Um, somebody here is holding on to uh, to an option. Okay, somebody here is holding on to an option. And is they're being cautious, um, not wanting to move too fast. I'm getting that as well. But I'm getting like somebody has two options. You're watching, you're keeping an eye on this person. Why don't you pay the swords here? Queen of Wands, yeah. You guys' is energy. If you want to see if this person is going to change their mind, okay? Because I feel like they somebody made a final decision, and you're looking to see if this person is going to change their mind. That's what you're watching. But this person isn't going to change their mind, okay? Because I got the two of swords. I mean, which is sometimes a no and sometimes a, a indecision. Why is the two of swords here? Yeah, the ten of cups. No, this, I feel like... This person is not going to change their mind. I feel like... Why is the Ten of Cups here? I feel like they're happy with their decision. Why is the Four of Cups here? Uh, somebody here feels like this is just... They're choking this up as a missed opportunity. And I feel like that's... I feel like they... Um, I'm getting a missed opportunity. Four of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles is definitely a missed opportunity.
Like, they don't want to miss this opportunity. Or they didn't want to miss an opportunity. Okay, so two of cups. Why is the two of cups here? Five of pentacles. Somebody's don't asking for, for less. Or you're hoping that they go down on... I'm getting like... Somebody felt left out in the cold or feel like they didn't fit in. I'm getting like a clout thing too. Somebody's looking for a clout. I see that too. We got the five of swords. Like I'm getting like somebody's being petty, fighting below the belt. I got the king of pentacles here, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. I got justice card here, um, Libra's energy. But this is also about someone could possibly be trying to balance their finances as well too. Especially with that five of pentacles there. Like somebody could be undergoing like financial issues. But then we got the strength card as the outcome. And then we got the knight of swords. So somebody's going. And then the two of pentacles. Yeah. Why is the knight of swords? I'm getting like somebody's going back and forth. Why is the knight of swords here? And I feel like you're kind of pissed. Got king of pentacles. Okay. So you're, yeah, you're, you're possibly pissed because you gave someone money. Or you gave someone like a boost or some sort, some some sort of something. The Knight of Swords is saying that this is the this person's energy is really pissed. Okay, you see how he's coming. <laughs> and then we got this King of Pentacles here, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. And I'm just getting like there's money involved or Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, and I'm getting like something not. Someone, you know, something not may not go in your favor, okay, with the Wheel of Fortune here in the Death card. Page of Cups. I feel like you're hoping that this person changes their mind. I'm getting sexual things as well, too. King of Wands and the Ace of Wands is definitely a sexual energy. Okay, someone could be asking, like, for sex. I'm seeing that as well, too. The Seven of Swords. So be careful because, yeah, this person could have you tangled up in a third-party situation. The Seven of Swords and the Three of Cups. Okay, and the truth about this has already either come in, came out or is getting ready to come out. Like, I feel like... You're mad or upset with someone. I'm getting like somebody chose, made their final decision. And there's something that you wanted out of it. And I feel like you're pissed because, I don't know. Y'all let me know in the comment section below. What does this person want to say to Leo? What does this person want to say to Leo? Yeah. All right, so I got courtship. All right, so there's some type of courting going on. I got toil and labor. Uh, and I also got message. And this one to jump out as well too, high honor. But then we got the death card. And pathway so there's been some type of ending there's been some type of ending to some type of courtship friendship or something situationship there's been some type of ending to some type of courtship but I do want to see why our message is here why is message here The Ten of Cups and the Wheel of Fortune. Now I got the devil here. You guys keep getting the devil. You guys keep getting the devil. So there's possibly some tox some toxic energy tied around this situation. Um, there's lots of things that need to be balanced out. I got the seven of cups and the temperance card as well. So you could be dealing with the Sagittarius. But somebody's happy, somebody's going to message somebody and say that they're happy that things turned out the way that it did. 
somebody giving somebody props or giving somebody um because i had the ace of cups show pop out somebody giving somebody some type of gesture okay and yeah see the temperance want to come out as well too so that's like finding some type of a peaceful resolution um i'm getting that as well like maybe you two guys will still be able to communicate um or be on good terms why is high honor here the, the death card okay so then we got the queen of cups and the nine of pentacles why is the death card here the five of pentacles and the ace of pentacles yeah this is definitely money is most definitely involved i feel like someone put some money in on a situation five of pentacles and the ace of pentacles somebody possibly that didn't have all of the money or enough money um i'm getting that as well too and i'm getting like there's multiple people involved with the three of cups and the seven of swords and the king of wands i'm getting a lot of sly talk I'm getting a lot of sly talk, okay? Like a bunch of sly talk. Why is courtship here? Knight of Pentacles again, okay? I'm getting Capricorn's energy. Why is Knight of Pentacles here? Nine of Pentacles. So somebody's saying that they're single or they're by themselves or they're doing something by themselves. Um, but I'm also getting like someone saying that something wasn't going to work or something did not work. Okay. So someone possibly decided to be single. Okay. And somebody here is looking for something new. I got the Ace of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles. Somebody here is looking for a new relationship or something new to build on. All right. So why is toil and labor here? This is work. This is effort being put in. The Hierophant and the Chariot. Okay, so this is move, movement forward, um, going towards um, doing things in a more traditional way by the book. I'm getting that as well. Some of you could be dealing with a Taurus. that there was a lot of indecision on whether or not somebody wanted to walk away or leave but i feel like a decision ended up being made um or it's getting ready to be made okay and i'm feeling like somebody's on the fence about whether or not someone is going to change their mind yeah like i said you possibly gave this person a couple different chances with the two of pentacles and the judgment like that's a ongoing you know i gave you multiple chances okay and i'm getting like somebody was just too flighty um too all uh, over the place um not giving you any stability not giving you the stability that you want okay i'm getting lots of play player playful type energy Let's see what the angels have to say, guys. And I'm going to let you guys go. Let's see. What message do you have for my Leos? Thank you. I got listen to your intuition. All right. A peaceful resolution could come out of this. Um, but you're going to have to listen to your intuition, okay? I see a lot of you guys are focused on your romance life. But let's see what other message we have for Leo. Okay, a lot of cards came out. All right, so we got perfect timing. I also have within the next few months. Okay, so something within the next few months, um, something is going to balance out for you. Something is like the time, the timing has to be right. And you're going to have to stay optimistic and ask your angels. And that's something that you need to reconsider as well. Why is perfect timing here for Leo's? the justice card there could be a karmic situation some of y'all may be in a karmic situation okay 
But the thing about this is in, in due time, this is going, the situation is going to balance out. You're going to get your justice, okay? Now, why is the justice card here? Ace of Wands, yeah. A new beginning, a new start for you, and things going more so in your favor, okay? So, why listen to your intuition this year? Two of Wands. Your intuition, and then look at this. High Priestess is being very intuitive, listening to your intuition, Queen of Pentacles, Five of Cups. So your intuition is telling you that this person is going to regret doing you the way that they did you. Um, you may feel like this person with the Queen of Pentacles here, you may feel like you were helping this person financially um, or you was this person's safety net, okay? I see you spying on this person, though. Why is the Two of Wands? You feel like they're going to regret it later. Why is the Two of Wands here? The Six of Wands, Yeah. You feel like you were the best that this person had, yeah. And then your intuition is also telling you that this person is going to want another chance, okay? So just just do what you need to do and focus on you. And this person going to get their karma within the next few weeks, okay? We got the world card. So a phase is going to be closing. A chapter is going to be closing within the next few weeks, guys. Why is the world card here? Yeah, we got the hermit. And somebody's going to go ghost with the king of swords. Somebody's cutting somebody off. Somebody's getting cut off. I'm talking about cut off. And I feel like now at the bottom of the deck, we got the king of pentacles. I got the seven of swords. And I also, I feel like you guys caught somebody in a lie. With the eight of swords, y'all possibly went snooping and looking for something. With the page of swords, this is telling me that you've been spying on this person. Um, with the seven of swords and the eight of swords, this is saying that you caught this person in a lie. It could be a Virgo Taurus Capricorn. And I feel like you feel like this person is going to come back begging you for a relationship again with the Knight of Cups and the Ten of Cups. But when they do come back around, I feel like you're going to cut them off so nasty. You're going to ghost them with the World card here, the Hermit card, and the King of Swords. It's going to be done so nasty. They gonna get what's coming to them for how they did you, and it is what it is at this point. It is what it is at at this point, guys. All right, so I hope this message was helpful for y'all. Y'all, let me know what's going on in the comment section below, and I will chat with y'all later. Ciao.